Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments are for uh, AA. This is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-Step System. And you just took the uh, independent writing practice test number 39. And I want to give you some comments on this. And also, you're one of my students at California State University, right? Okay, so... If we take a look at your essay, the good news is you have answered the question. You understand how to organize, organize your response. So it looks like in paragraph two, you talked about why some want to make huge amounts of money. In paragraph three, you talked about why making average amounts of money is also important. And then in uh, your fourth paragraph, you have your own position. Okay, so that's the good news. The bad news is you're having extraordinarily uh, a lot of problems with your sentence structure. So uh, let me take a look at one of your paragraphs and I'll try to illustrate what I'm talking about. So in paragraph one you say, which is important? And here I would put a colon after the word important and then you introduce the two gerunds. So which is important dot dot having large amounts of money or having and then put a comfortable life. Then you say to answer this question we need to analyze both factors. And then I would say here not however I would probably say like for example then say money is essential for living a good life you can't put a comma there put a semicolon and then say it makes life easier. Then say, making large amounts of money, you say lead, past tense. I wouldn't do that. You're using present tense so far, and you're talking about a position, say, making large amounts of money leads you uh, to sadness. And then, I guess this is okay, making average amounts of money with a comfortable life leads you to happiness. And then you have, and I'm going to make enough money to have a nice life. And I wouldn't just say I'm going to, it's saying take a stand. And then say, and making uh, just enough money to have a nice life is the better alternative of the two choices or something. Right? So if, if we go through the whole, the whole uh, essay, there are problems in every paragraph with your basic sentence structure. So you definitely want to control your sentence structure and your verb tenses a little bit better. Okay, now also I think you could do better with detail. <laughs> Is the, the kinds of details you're using in there, if we go to your, which paragraph is it? Paragraph two, you say making huge amounts of money leads you to sickness and sadness. I wouldn't do that. Instead of stating a position because you want to do analysis of the first view, say something like uh, making huge amounts of money leads, make, you, how about this, say some believe that making huge amounts of money is important. And instead of stating what your position is here, you should simply state why some believe that making huge amounts of money is important, that's it. It doesn't really matter what your position is at this point. You should simply discuss why some people want to do that. So I would say you probably need to organize uh, body paragraphs two and three more directly around, I think, the writing task, which means you should remain objective in paragraph two and three. And then when you get to four, that's when you get into your argument. So I think you probably could organize, uh, better organize your essay at least around the writing task. So, so you have some problems organizing your essay around the writing task. You also have a lot of sentence structure, verb tense, and word choice issues in the essay. And you can provide more supporting detail for some of your ideas. Now what does that mean to you? Uh, let's take a look. I'm, I can't put you in the three range, I'll be honest with you, because uh, if you score in the three range, it means you have addressed the topic and the task, but I don't think you have. So I'm going to put you in the two range. I'm going to put you at about 2.0 out of 5, 
This is going to put you at about 14 points out of 30. So you need to develop your ideas more. Uh, you have an inadequate organization. You haven't really organized, I think, according to what the writing task is. And you have a lot of problems with your word choice, your sentence structure, and so on. you got to get better. Can you get better? Do you want to get better? I think that's probably the better question. Now, if you say yes, then the question is, will you do what it takes to get better? Now, if you want to get better, here's my recommendation. Study my speaking lesson number seven. It also relates to writing, trust me. But study that. You want to complete the vocabulary lessons. You really have weak vocabulary. You need to work on that a lot. So learn the words. Vocabulary lesson number three, number four, number five, and number six. That's 1,700 words. If you can learn those words, your writing is going to get a lot better. If not, your writing will stay the same. Uh, also, I think in addition to that, check out my, my writing lessons number one and two. All right, anyway, thank you for completing the uh, writing practice test. And uh, my last suggestion is between now and the final exam, uh, I would encourage you to take maybe three or four different writing practice tests. Just make sure you email me each time you do it. I'll make sure my TA grades it. But you need a lot more practice with writing. It's still, you're still not very familiar with, I think, the writing aspects of the language. So if you take more practice tests, that's going to give you a lot more practice and you will improve uh, with that.